Wagwan. Well, on. Growing bok choy from seed to harvest in a small space can seem like a difficult task, especially if you've never done it before. Now, I tested two ways, starting indoors and then transplanting outdoors and sowing directly outside in the container that I'll grow from. So be sure to watch until the end to see which method works best for you. Timestamps are in the description below. Ready? Okay, first things first, let's gather our supplies. Here's what I used. Now my bok choy seeds, I chose a bok choy variety that's suitable for container gardening. For the potting mix, I used a high quality potting mix that's well draining and nutrient rich. If you will start indoors, you will need a seed starting mix. Of course, again, high quality seed starting mix that has everything the seeds need to help them germinate and continue growing. If you start indoors, you will also need seed starting containers or germination trays. You can always upcycle your old food trays or egg cartons, etc. Now for your containers, since I'm growing on a balcony and will be growing in a small space, opt for large pots or planters with drainage holes to prevent a water logging. I use both grow bags and plastic containers made for bottom watering. To ensure you have a convenient way to water your plants, you'll need a watering can like I use or a hose. Now this is optional, but you can also include fertilizer to give an extra boost of nutrients. Now I use granules as well as water soluble fertilizers. First, decide whether or not you will start indoors and transplant or sow directly in the containers outdoors. Now, if you sow directly, you can jump to this timestamp right here. Now, if you start your seeds indoors, first prepare your germination container with drainage holes. I'm using small plastic food containers with covers and egg trays, so I need to cut holes in them. All right, let's get that done. Fill the container with moist seed starting mix, leaving a bit of space. Evenly place the seeds on the soil. I like to overseed, but you don't have to. And if you're using an egg tray, you can place one to two seeds per space in the tray. Mix with water and cover to create that humidity effect, then place it in a warm location. Remember to occasionally remove the cover to ventilate and mist with water when the top layer dries out. You can see all of this humidity going uh, just because it doesn't have any holes at the top to help with ventilation. You can open it up uh, for a little bit of time. If the top soil dries out, you can mist with some more water and then reclose. Once they sprout, give them lots of light. Remove the covering and bottom water when needed. When they have about one to two sets of true leaves, start hardening off your seedlings by gradually exposing them to the outdoor elements like the sun, the wind, you know. Each day, 
increase the time outside until they can stay there all day. This can take about one to two weeks, so maybe 15 minutes, and then next time 30 minutes, an hour, etc., and increase the time until they're strong enough to handle the extreme weather. Now that they've hardened off, let's transplant them into the container of your choice. <laughs> Partially fill that container with moist potting mix and add the fertilizer granules, which again is optional. Then fill it to the top. Gently separate the seedlings. It helps if the soil is moist. I'm going to plant it up to there. Make holes in the soil and plant the seedlings with enough space based on the recommendations on your seed packet. Now, for my balcony, I planted them a little closer to maximize space. I also did a bit of companion planting with my garlic. Watering the seedlings thoroughly. Place the container in a partially sunny to sunny location. to skip how to sow seeds directly in soil, jump to this timestamp here for some bok choy care and maintenance. If you plant seeds directly into the containers, first partially fill your containers with moist potting soil, add the fertilizer granules if needed, then add more potting mix, leaving about an inch of space from the rim. Scatter the bok choy seeds evenly across the soil surface, following the spacing recommendations on the seed packet. To maximize space, I companion plant and place a little closer. Now I don't like to make the holes that big, that deep, because the seeds are so small, but I do it deep enough so that I can gauge, so I remember where I'm going to put them. And what I do, I make it a bit shallow, so I reduce the depth of the hole, I place the seed in, and I just gently cover it. Then the same thing goes for this. Make the hole a bit shallow and place the seeds in. Water the soil thoroughly, ensuring it's evenly moist but not waterlogged. Place your containers in a sunny spot on your balcony, ideally receiving about six hours of sunlight per day. Now I have an east facing balcony so I have adequate amount of sunlight. Keep the top layer of the soil consistently moist to help the seedlings germinate and grow into sprouts. Comment below, how will you start your bok choy? Will you sow them indoors or sow directly outdoors? Now that we have sprouts, it's time to care for our bok choy plants as they grow. Water your bok choy regularly, keeping the soil consistently moist. Bok choy prefers well-draining soil, so be cautious not to overwater. I use containers where I can bottom water. Just make sure your containers have proper drainage holes. Use a water bus fertilizer if you need every few weeks to provide essential nutrients to your bok choy to promote healthy growth. So once a week, I alternate between a balanced trip five ammonia fertilizer and a balanced vegetable fertilizer.
if your balcony gets too windy, consider providing some protection or support for your bok choy plants to prevent them from toppling over. This is where companion planting comes in handy as the garlic stalk helps to protect them from wind damage. Keep an eye out for pests like aphids or caterpillars and take appropriate measures to control them, such as using insecticidal soap or neem oil. Sometimes I just pick them off. As your bok choy grows, thin out overcrowded seedlings to ensure proper spacing and optimal growth. Or leave them in if you're kind of chaotic like me. But don't throw them out. Baby bok choy is great steamed or in a stir fry. Bok choy prefers cooler temperatures, so provide some shade during hot summer days to prevent bolting. Now, some of my bok choy did bolt and why it bolted for me was because of the temperature spikes so the lowest temperature it jumped from about 10 degrees and then it jumped up to 20 the next day then back down to 15 and <sighs> whiplash so that can be a cause of your bok choy bolting it goes into stress and decides to push out flowers to reproduce so what should you do when bok choy bolts it's best to harvest at the first sign of bolting the bok choy will start to get harder, bitter, and lose its flavor. They bolted, but they're still delicious. You can also leave them to flower for the pollinators, then collect the seeds once they dry out. Finally, it's time to harvest our bok choy. Bok choy is typically ready to harvest in about 40 to 50 days after planting. Harvest the outer leaves first, leaving the inner leaves to continue growing. Use a sharp knife or scissors to cut the leaves at the base, leaving about an inch of the stem attached to the plant. They will regrow. Pro tip, harvest bok choy early in the morning for the best flavor and texture. If your bok choy bolted like me, just pull the entire plant up, roots and all, and enjoy your bok choy. Enjoy your freshly harvested bok choy in salads, stir fries, soups, or steamed dishes, knowing that you grow it on your balcony. If growing bok choy from seed to harvest seems like a difficult task, don't worry, you can always regrow your kitchen scraps. This video shows you how. Later. <laughs>